or no. reading some shit. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I love Good. porn. Good. What a great start. Yeah. All right, so this is a thread that um. Hey, uh, I guess now's a good time as any to say, uh, trigger warning, if you are a sensitive, uh, person, like, say, Ben, uh, maybe get out of here, cause this is not a, uh, this is not a very politically correct green text. Has there any, has there ever been any, like, politically correct green text, though? I mean, probably. The ones I mean, that the aren't, last... the ones that aren't about people with, uh, mental issues, probably. The, the one I read last time was just about tards at, like, a... At a chip place, the Chippo Man. Oh my God, the Chippo Man! Never that was forget the... Chippo Man. Never forget the Great Chippo War. Chippo Gate 2016. Oh God, better get started. <clears throat> All right, we had one at middle school. A huge, semi-intelligent tard. We named him Don, like a mafia boss. We pretended to be his henchman. I was the Don's mouth. That is, I had to push him for a list of names each month. We had to beat up anyone on that list. Downey eventually gets into the park, starts coming to school with a red rose in his pocket and a Sicilian accent. One week he insists that we had to put a teacher on the list. We refuse and say no. He gets visibly angry and starts calling us not good. He rises, picks a chair, and goes looking for the teacher. Teacher steps into class in that moment. Don takes the chair and starts whacking the teacher with the chair. Oh my god. I almost pass out of laughter. Janitors come, Don gets suspended, teacher finds list, friend gets framed and, sus framed and suspended as well. Don returns to school one week later, kisses hand saying, welcome back Don. Got more if interested. What a great start. I should mention that this guy is in Italy. It's uh, This wasn't on B or anything, or Robot 9K. This was on, um, this was on uh, Paul, P-O-L. So everyone has a flag next to their name. Paul Blart. Sure. So he has the Italian flag next to his name. This guy's Italian. And he's got the Don. Alright. Thank you, when gentlemen. When he was a boy... Oh, Jesus. Back in Sicily. <laughs> Alright, thank you. When I was a boy. Thank you, back gentlemen. Back in Sicily. Alright, let's get moving on. Part two. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Don is back. Apparently he had a few sessions with a school therapist for Downies. Therapist had brainwashed him into thinking that whacking people with a chair was not okay. Don, we need a new list. Ugh, no list. But Don, no! Eventually managed to convince him that the therapist told him so because he was afraid of him. To get the message through his head, I showed him a few Dragon Ball Z AMVs. You know, the ones with the Linkin Park songs. <laughs> Don finally reawakened. <laughs> Don finally reawakens. He is all jacked up and pumped because of my AMVs. Classmate that got suspended uh. threatens to snitch. Hey, Don. One of your men has betrayed us. Don says nothing. Don, what do we do? Don, Don still says nothing, but I see his legs shaking. Don. No, later! No, later! We get out of school, lose sight of him. Suddenly, I hear people screaming. Apparently, Don had charged like a freaking rhino through the crowd against the snitch, tripping him over the <laughs> snares. Snitch gets up and slaps Don as hard as he can. Oh, no. Don starts screeching like a T-Rex. He wants to kill the snitch now. Long story short, a local policeman passes by and gets the idea that the snitch is bullying Don. Snitch gets another suspension, eventually changes school. <laughs> he still doesn't know this was all my fault. Other kids are now legitimately scared of the Don. Now kids from other classes want to be among his men. We even had some kind of made men rit uh, ritual where the Don had to decide if the new member was worthy. Me and Don end up sharing the same desk for the rest of the year. <laughs> One more, and keep the U's rolling. Towards end of second semester, Don had hound <clears throat> Don now has at least forty made men. We even have a secret gesture. Has developed a real addiction to Dragon Ball AMVs. Oh my god. Is now convinced he is yeah. some kind of mafioso Super Saiyan. Thanks to oh my, my charisma, god. I am now the Don's official consigliere. Parents super happy that Don has so many friends. They frequently invite me and a few other trusted made men home. The listing has been abandoned now that the whole school knows about us. The Don now has a social life, friends, and frequent power trips, courtesy of Dragon Ball AMVs. <laughs> oh. He goes to an afternoon school for Downies. He even has a Downie girlfriend. He treats her like his gun mole or something. 
One downy at the afternoon school is obviously not okay with the dawn's success. Of course, it's not long before a new list gets issued and the rival tard's name appears in that list. As his trusted consigliere, I tell him to stay calm and await for the right time for vengeance. One afternoon, we get some kind of BS integration course about tolerance and diversity. The enemy downy is the speaker! The Don is fuming right now. We try to calm him down and avo avoid another rhino charge by feeding him Mars bars. My god. I hate Mars bars. <laughs> Meanwhile, enemy Downey has ended his fake speech. <laughs> the Don's gun mole is there and she starts clapping for the Downey. Downey gets close and kisses the Don's woman. Oh no. The Don freezes while parts of Mars bits drool out of his mouth. He pushes me aside and Rhino charges the Downy, stabs him in the leg with a big pin. <laughs> oh. Why a big pin? Why is it specified that it's a big pin? <laughs> Janitors are all out in force to stop the Don. Eventually I call the parents. The Don's gun mole has now viciously changed sl sides. She slaps the Don and starts sucking the Downy's open wound. Really? Oh. Suck. Don now faces. <laughs> <laughs> Just put that picture of the Sonic Underground suck picture on the screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Don now faces Don risk now of being expelled. Him. Therapist puts him on meds Therapist. and mentions bad influences to his mother. I get a special mention for being friends with him. As an example of tolerance, blah blah blah. Part 4! Eventually, the Don is not suspended. Thanks to our insistence, we even get the school's director to keep him, leveraging on pity and all. The Don returns. He is visibly changed, less responsive. Don, what's wrong? Don? School! I like school! He was drawing a house with flowers the whole time. The Don keeps his head low for a few days. His mom invites me at his place one day. Apparently she's still oblivious to her little club. Find a bottle of pills on the kitchen table. Apparently they got the guy under Xanax. Report to other maid men to decide how to proceed with the Don out of the games. One of the maid men agrees to replace the vi Xanax with vitamin B. <laughs> We got ourselves invited at the Don's place once more to complete the ordeal. A few days pass. The Don is slowly returning among us. Parents keep stuffing his face with pills. The fools were merely making the Don stronger. The Don is obviously not taking too well his gun mole's betrayal, and the other Downey sending him into therapy. Demands his men to take care of both Downies. Don, we have a new one who wants to become a made man. Who? A scrawny kid comes forward, advancing towards the Don. No, he is not good! He's not good! But Don, he will make anything for you. Don goes silent, then starts laughing. Yes, yes! yes, yes. As consigliere, I demand the newcomer to show his worth to be admitted into the family, by becoming the Don's new bodyguard for a week. Which means he had to buy him Mars, buy him Mars download him Dragon Ball's related stuff, and overall please the Don's demands for material goods. The Don is now back in full force, jacked up with vitamin B, Linkin Park songs, and hatred. Me, I was 11. <laughs> uh oh. Parents still think he's on Xanax, so they're sending him to the Tard school again. Scrawny kid is forced to go with him. Afternoon Tard Wranglers arrange some kind of social game for Tards where they have to guess a thing while blindfolded. The Don gets a seat next to his arch enemy. Wranglers want them to make peace. Part 5. Do 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 do. Do do do. <laughs> Part five. Here it goes. I just want to say, Chad, you do you do an oddly good tart impression. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. It I works can... for the purpose. <laughs> I can do impressions of like an arch type of person. I just can't do a specific person impression. <laughs> Shut up. I don't think I do a good tart impression. <laughs> Alright, part 5. Here it goes, lads. So the Don is face-to-face -face with his arch enemy. Game goes well for a while. Apparently both the Don and his nemesis are doing just fine. Until it's time for the Don to guess while blindfolded. Arch nemesis thinks it's obviously a good idea to slap him in the back of the head. It is not. The Don flips the desk, and before he can find enough momentum to rhino charge his enemy, he gets the Wrangler all over him. <laughs> Wranglers call parents once more. Scrawny Kids testifies for the Don, saying he was provoked. The Don goes off unpunished once more. Scrawny Kid has made a made man on the spot. Later we had summer holidays. We spent a lot of time with the Don, basically spending the better part of July teaching him how to properly behave and talk like a powerful boss. He even got a golden ring as a gift from us made men. He never managed to get that ring off his finger for his birthday. Oh my god. That's awful. 
it got to the point uh, that by September he had very little speech impediment as well ahead of his downy peers in math. We did more in two months than years of useless paid tutors. His parents even got him off Xanax. And then September came. Part 6. School was open once more. By September, the dawn, now with a fresh new golden ring and more intelligence points, was a force to be reckoned with. Our little society grew to 50 plus members, all of them abiding to the rule of silence, under the ruthless fist of the dawn. Every month we had the list, and one of the janitors was consistently on it. Now it was mostly about bullying other kids until they came to the dawn to pay him respects by kissing his ring. And we made sure they meant it. Apparently, the Don realized his condition, his condition came with an almost total impunity for his nefarious deeds, but now he rarely got his hands dirty. Aside from the, except for the aforementioned jan janitor, he hated him for reasons I never understood. Now, there's this gypsy kid out of our school, outside of our school. He, us he usually does gypsy stuff, such as begging, stealing things, or scratching cars with coins when he's bored, sometimes with a few other fellow gypsies. Usually giggles and points his wrinkled finger at the Don whenever he gets out of school. The Don obviously does not like this. Not even one bit. Since I'm his trusted consigliere, I advise him to stay calm until we can find a solution to the problem. So we can't exactly risk getting the Don stabbed by a gypsy by taking him on directly. And besides, that's, what's main, that's what made men are for. This is actually getting really interesting now. Part 7. Now one of our oldest recruits was a blonde stocky kid. We used to call him the Lemon. Oh my god, the Lemon. <laughs> no, no. You see, the lemon was a good guy, but he was bipolar, which means oh, he, could no. s he could snap any second and murder you with the first thing he had on his hand. I knew about it since the first time we heard about the lemon was at a birthday party, where he tried to stab the host with a plastic cake knife. The knife broke, so he tried to strangle his victim with his bare hands. Or that one time when he fended off three older bullies with a washing pole, and beating one of them so hard he had to be hospitalized with three broken ribs and one of his front teeth gone. <laughs> oh no. I had recommended him personally to the Don. We made sure he got welcomed by all the members of the society, which made, which in turn made me earn the Lemon's undying and eternal loyalty, since he didn't exactly have any friends before meeting us. Now the plan birthed by my 12 year old mind was simple. See, I'm imagining like, late middle school. I'm not imagining like, 6th graders. This is amazing. Yeah, actually, me yeah. either. I, These are like children, and they're planning <laughs> this out. I have a feeling that the guy, this consigliere here, he and his friends, probably all members of, the, they were the original members of the Don's uh, Mafia. I'm sure those guys probably watched uh, the Godfather movies in a marathon. <laughs> to be fair, they are. I was a boy. They are Italian, so you know. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Okay. We just needed to show up in force to the gypsy after school, be reasonable, and tell him to stop. And since I was the most persuading one, it was my turn to go in person. I wanna come! I wanna come! No, Don. We can do this. Don't worry. Just- I wanna come! Of course, you don't get to disobey the Don. So six of us plus the Don were supposed to show up in front of the gypsy to talk to him. The lemon was among us, and boy if it was a mistake. Dude, dude, wait, I already did that joke. Part eight. Eight. There it is, and keep the U's coming. We basically show up in front of the gypsy. Listen, bro, you've offended my friend here. You can't do that. Gypsy stares at the Don, then starts laughing and tells us to screw off. Hey, listen, my friend here, Gypsy takes an empty can and throws it against us. He hits the lemon on the cheek. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> the lemon starts screaming like a banshee and screaming, then kicks the Gypsy in his leg. The Gypsy falls down. The lemon starts pummeling the poor guy, then gets up, grabs the kicking and screaming Gypsy by his shirt, and rams his head into a car door. <laughs> oh my god. The Gypsy screams. I just imagine the lemon going like... <laughs> Oh, no! No! The lemon is just a young OG mudbone! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! They never specified oh. skin color! They just no. said it was a stocky guy! I mean, it's a blonde. Oh, so the, oh um, you're right. You're yeah, right. Never... Maybe he dyed his hair. <laughs> what?! Oh. Me too. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, uh... There's more, hold on. Uh, the gypsies... Inner... inner. Alright, we're back. <laughs> Alright, as I was saying, 
The gypsies scream attracted a couple of the allies nearby. It's two adult gypsies. I'm about to poop myself. Other maid men try to prevent the lemon from killing his victim. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Don is laughing like a maniac, jumping around like he's possessed. Yes! Yes! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! The little gypsy's allies immediately charge the lemon and the maid men. One of them pushes the Don aside in the process. The Don stops laughing. Meanwhile, I'm wondering how many years in jail I'm gonna get for this. Part 8. The final part. I'm gonna go get Wait, a Wait, I thought the last one was part 8. Was it? Crap! Ah! ah! Final, fine, whatever. Final part. Part 9. <laughs> final chapter. By now, it's basically two adult gypsies versus five kids, the lemon and Don. The Don Rhino charges one of the adults to glory. Gypsy falls to the ground with the Don on top of him. The other Gypsy is standing standing is now alone against the four other made men, starts screaming for help. Nearby shopkeeper steps in and breaks up the fight. Cops get called. The gypsies are all arrested. We're called in to testify the next day. We make it sound like the gypsy had attacked a Down syndrome in a bipolar kid, so we stepped in to protect them. Two adults get five years of jail each. Young gypsy gets sent to juvie. We even make it in the local newspaper. Local Romanian gang attacks and injures mentally handicapped kids. Three arrests. <laughs> the locals go insane and set the gypsy camp on fire. And since we're close to the election, the mayor sends the cops to clear the camp and, kip and kick the gypos out a week later, citing security Gippo concerns. Gypo man! Gypo man! It's the Gypo man! <laughs> <laughs> Shopkeeper becomes our best bro. He gives us gummy bears for free. The whole sc school hails us as heroes. The Don gets clapped for during his entrance in class the day after. What, clapped? Clap for? Wouldn't it be applause? I don't know, he's Italian. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. The lemon goes from weird misfit to troubled hero and protector of the innocents. <laughs> Voices about the Don's last fight start circulating around the school. Now first year kids are terrified of the Don- Oh god. Are terrified of the Don. As his trusted consigliere, I make sure none of the smaller kids get to challenge the Don's hegemony. Well, uh, motherfucker. Rest in peace. Ah! Red berry, red berry, red berry, red berry.